so first things first is we're going to need a shower cap to protect our hair underneath because we don't want any glue on our nice fresh twist. So I'm just going to pop this on. Okay, and now we're going to use our two wig caps. First is a black one and second is obviously a brown one to match my skin tone. Um, and I'm using two just to make sure the wig isn't so flimsy. Okay, so I feel we're ready to go now. So the hair I'm going to be using is some hair I received from um, an AliExpress company called Ali Sugar Hair. I will leave all the details down below. You can stick the closure down first if you want to, but I like to just add some bundles in first. So what you want to do is you want to grab the hair. You want to measure. You want to measure just where you want to stick the hair. So I want to measure about here. And then you just cut it really. Cut there. Got my, got my weft. Then I'm going to add my glue. So the glue I'm using is the Salon Pro Exclusive Hair Bonding Glue. I got this from Amazon, so I'll leave the link down below. Um, but you can also get it from your local beauty supply store. Then I'm just going to add the glue onto the wax. If the glue gets in the hair, it really doesn't matter. Um, it, it it comes off if you just roll your hands together. I don't know if you can see, but it, it comes off. So if you get glue on your hands, it's fine. It's like um, PVA glue, like you know, like in primary school days when you used to like stick like PVA glue on your hands. That's what it's like. You can use a blow dryer as well if you want to quicken up the uh, the wet, the, uh, the drying process. Okay, guys. So. Um, that's how you do it basically so I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up the video um, just so you can see the gist of what I'm doing I'm gonna do one bundle um, first and then I'm gonna um, come back and show you how I did my closure Thank you. 
Okay guys, so I've done uh, one bundle. So this is what one bundle will get ya. It's actually quite thick. Um, so this is how far uh, I am. So not much left. I thought I was gonna use all four bundles, but apparently not. So probably use about two, one and a half maybe. Okay, so uh, we gonna do the closure now. We gonna do the closure. We're just gonna pop some glue around the perimeter. The good thing about this method is that you can reuse the hair. You can obviously just like literally rip the glue off the lace. So obviously you don't wanna put the glue on the actual lace of the closure because then your scalp will be black. And we don't want that. Okay, so I've put the glue, if you can see, I've put the glue, well you can't see, but the glue is all around here and now we're gonna gently it doesn't matter if you get glue everywhere okay I'm gonna do you wanna press it down okay. make sure it does it does you can always take it off if you've made a mistake but once I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna press it down If it's stuck on wrong, you can always just take it off. Okay, so Okay, so that is the closure stuck down. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue down the rest of the tracks and then I'll come back and show you the final result. Um, I am almost done. As you can see, I've just got this bit here and this bit here to do. So literally only two bundles to use. This is the last of the second bundle. So I'm just going to add a little bit here just to cover up this bit yeah that's fine Ugh. this thing is giving me grief I really need to go I need to go upstairs and get a clip but I just don't want to go upstairs Okay, we is done. Okay, we is not done. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten this. Um, but this is literally it. This is like the two bundles. Um, I think I'm gonna go for a middle part. Right now, it's looking a hot mess and you're probably thinking, why did I follow this tutorial? So I'm just gonna go straighten this and then come back and show you the final result. So this is the final look um i've straightened it and i've applied like an oil sheen spray to the hair just to lie down some of the flyaways i might have added a little bit too much so i feel like the hair looks like a little bit way down but that is completely my fault <laughs> um but yeah this hair is so so soft i don't know if you can see that but it's ridiculously soft um but yeah, I feel like this is as flat as the hair is gonna lie down as of now because of my bulky twists underneath. So I would say this is pretty good for looking flat. 
um, considering my twists. But yeah, apart from that, um, whilst I was straightening, no tracks like popped off or anything. So if you're worried about that, don't be. Um, but yeah, if you have any comments um, or questions, that's all I meant. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment box below and I'll get back to you. Um, all the things I used and the hair links and stuff will be in the description box. Um, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you in my next video.